Welcome back to Girl Talk. We are here at Island Tire with our friend Barry Edwards. We're here on the South End this time around. And Barry, you guys are not only well known, obviously, for your quality service, your tires, two locations here on Hilton Head, just a great staff of people, um, again, for automotive service as well, and also for advice. So sure. you're actually going to help us. We had a question come in regarding changing a tire. And I think as fundamental as that might seem and sound, not all of us know really how to do that. Well, it's, that's not uncommon. Uh, particularly, it used to be that the jack, everything was in the trunk of the car. It was pretty obvious. Nowadays, uh, just to control weight and issues with the car, they literally hide these things. Things are very concealed. So the first, uh, the best source of information, because no car, no two cars are alike, is literally the owner's manual. It'll tell you, number one, to start the puzzle of where to find these things. Uh, we suggest to a lot of people, if they're going on a trip, if they don't know where the jack, where the tire is, um, at the very least start by always carrying a cell phone. Right, um, right. One of the advantages if you've got Michelin tires is that Michelin Which provide, I do thanks to Island Tire. <laughs> on this car. <laughs> Took advantage of that December sale, and yeah. I'll tell you what, it changed the whole ride of my car, plus peace of mind, because like you said, now I've got that roadside assistance yeah. already built in. So for three years uh, with Michelin tires, uh, you've got a 1-800 number. They have free That's roadside awesome. assistance for keys, gas, or tires. Uh, so if you don't have your cell phone, Make sure, first of all, you get off to a safe location right, off that's the side key. of the road. If you've got to change the tire, uh, and don't ignore the tire pressure and monitoring system. If it says it's low, get off the side of the road. And we've got an example here, which we'll be showing right now, sure. is, the, is the tire that was this, underinflated, and what happened to it? This thing blew completely out. Yeah, what happened was it actually got eaten you can see where it's ground itself to pieces. That is amazing. So that's part of the reinforcing. So that's because due to underinflation. Yep. And, and not like Barry said, not really paying attention to the uh, those lights. They're yeah. there on your dash for a reason. So. Exactly. They're a great safety feature. But start with the owner's manual. It'll tell you where to find those things. It'll also explain where you want to place the jack. Uh, you want to do things like set the parking brake. Um, a lot of the time, you'll have to go through a series of steps to remove the tire. They're typically going to be, in most SUVs, they're going to be located either in the trunk space. So if you've packed for a long trip, you may have you to dig have to through a lot out. of stuff. Right. Um, in this particular vehicle, a lot of them, you literally has almost a winch that you have to plug the, put this thing together, plug it in here, crank it down to lower the tire from out from under the vehicle. Okay. Then you've got to take these things along with the jack which again is in another compartment on this particular vehicle. You've got to put all that together and then start jacking the vehicle up. Right. We generally suggest you want to take the lug wrench, loosen the lug nuts on the tire, which are right down here. You want to loosen these before, you know, break them loose in terms of just get them a little bit loose before you start raising the vehicle up off the ground. Um, once you've got the vehicle safely in the air, and again, if you're on the side of the road, if it's on the side that's facing traffic, try to get the vehicle as far off the road. Driving another 20, 30 feet with a flat or low tire is not going to do any damage. It's more important to do to it safely. Yeah. Um, if you're not comfortable with this, and if you don't have Michelin tires at the very least, make sure you get AAA. Um, they, will, they can assist you with this. But... Once you put a tire back on the vehicle, you want to try to get those lug nuts as tight as you can while it's in the air, then set the vehicle down to where the tire's making contact and it won't roll, because particularly if it's a front tire or even a rear one, um, a lot of time, you know, Debbie, I mean, you don't weigh very much, but you still have enough pressure that you can turn that wheel. And what you really want to have is the vehicle on the ground, not necessarily all the weight on it. Get those as tight as you can. Okay. Um, if the tires have been put on with a uh, air wrench, those lug nuts are going to be pretty tough. So a lot of time to break them loose. Remember, it's the same rule: righty tighty, lefty loosey. Right. Um, if you have to, you can actually put it on and put your put your foot on it and put weight. Just okay. Be careful though. Um, and then you don't want to ride on that spare for an no, extended period no. of time. The other thing is when you get your tires checked, if you've got TPMS, again we'll talk. We've talked about how. A lot of times you say, oh, the light's on, I'll just go a little bit further. 
get the tire pressure checked at least once every other month, at the very least. If your sensor comes on, um, they've checked your tires, make sure that they check the spare tire because even the oh, spare right, tire will right, have right. a sensor and it's not a common field to go, I know my tires are fine, it must be something wrong with the sensors. It's not, it's the spare tire okay. that's actually gone down in pressure. And the last thing you want to do, you've got a flat tire, is put a tire, another tire on that's, got that's an low. Because right, right. it's going to end up destroying a second tire. So the main thing is we try to encourage everybody, take a little bit of time, look at the owner's manual, it'll tell you where those things are. Make sure at least one person, whoever's driving the car, is familiar with where the tire is, where the tools are. Um, you'd be surprised. Some vehicles, um, they literally hide them. I've got one vehicle that has the jack and, actually, the jack is under the seat, the spare tire's up under the back, right. you've got a separate piece in the glove box to unlock oh the gosh. spare, <laughs> and then the tools are actually underneath the hood. Wow. So you've got to go pop the hood, get out these tools with a rag because they're scalding hot. Right. Um, wow. So the main thing is be safe at all times. That's uh, great. Vehicle. Great advice as well, always, you. Barry. You guys are such a great resource. Again, with two locations here on the island and uh, just a plethora of knowledge. And you can go to their website, which mm -hmm. is islandtireauto.com. And uh, there's there's blogs and information and all, all sorts of stuff happening. Well, there, and with, right? uh, with Hazel Digital Media has uh, done a great job. We've recently been uploading a series. So we've actually got an inf information tab. I think at this point we've got over 200 articles and videos. Awesome. So you, you can find, if you've got any kind of question about your car, you can either look up there. They've got video clips uh, that explain how things work or things that for basic preventative maintenance. Right. Um, and there's also, you know, written print there. And so if, lots of information. Yeah, and if you all have questions, email Barry and absolutely. the folks there, or you can email us here, girltalk at whhitv.com. So that'll do it. Barry, thank you so Certainly, much. thank you. And thank you all for tuning in this week. We'll see you next time here on Girl Talk.